Hey everyone, Miko here with Behavior Analyst Supervisor. Thank you for joining us for our free Wednesday Zoom calls. Here you're watching on YouTube, but you could also join us on Wednesday. If you're interested in the link to these calls to join live, feel free to send us an email at info at behavioranalystsupervisor.com. You can also just check out our Instagram. We post questions every single day on Instagram. We also post the link to our free Zoom calls. Every Wednesday, we go through a different task list item area, such as A1. We'll talk a little bit about that task list item, and then we'll go through three mock exam questions relating to that task list area. We hope that this provides an opportunity for you to learn a little bit more about the task list and also dive deep into question dissection. We here at Behavior Analyst Supervisor really focus on providing explanations on why an answer is correct and why it's also incorrect. So we appreciate that you joined us. If you have any questions throughout the duration of this video, feel free to shoot us an email, hit that like and subscribe button for more information. Also, you can always leave a comment and we'll be sure to reach back out to you. Thanks again, and I'm Miko with Behavior Analyst Supervisor. You'll also be hearing from Amy and Kevin. Talk to you soon. Well, hello everyone. Miko here with Behavior Analyst Supervisor. Welcome to another installment of our free Wednesday Zooms. We do these Zooms every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Time. I should say almost every Wednesday there might be a time where I'm at conference or uh, something comes up and we don't have it. But for the most part, we're here to support you. We try to go over a different topic each Wednesday. It's a brief 30-minute call. We give you an opportunity to ask questions. We go through some questions and we take a little bit of a deep dive, like I said, into a singular topic. Today, we're going to be talking through basic schedules of reinforcement. You can find the link to this on our website. You can DM us on Instagram. We post the link on Instagram every week. And then as you're watching it now, we also post these on YouTube after the conclusion of the call. So if there's something specific that you ever want to go through, feel free to send us an email info at behavioranalystsupervisor.com. You can also, again, DM us on Instagram for quick responses. Uh, this is for you. So literally, if you want to talk through something, send us an email. I have a list going. Cool. Here we are. All right, when we think about the schedules of reinforcement, first we want to go to its most basic forms. So we're going to break down variable, we're going to break down fixed, we're going to break down ratio, and we're going to break down interval. Starting out, we have our ratio schedules of reinforcement. Ratio schedules of reinforcement deliver reinforcement contingent upon a certain number of responses being displayed. Reinforcement, again, is delivered after a specific number of responses. This can be 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 3, 1, any number of responses, that's a ratio. Set number could be an average number. We'll get into that shortly. Then we have our interval schedules. I'm going to slow down. Interval schedules, I want you to hear this. If you don't take anything away from this, I want you to take away interval schedules. An interval schedule of reinforcement does not mean that you need to do something during the interval. That's actually contrary to popular belief. You need to do something after the interval. In an interval schedule, reinforcement is delivered contingent upon the passing of time. So when that interval elapses and then you engage in a behavior. So reinforcement is delivered for the first correct response after the interval has passed. Nothing needs to occur during the interval. It's all about the response being displayed after the interval. We use interval schedules. Sorry, let me back up again. It's important to think about this practically. So we use interval schedules in order to delay reinforcement. We want you to wait a little bit. Think about it this way. Say you're entering your passcode into your phone and you lock your phone, right? Your phone's going to be locked for like a minute. You have to wait before you can put the, inter the password in. The reason they do that is if someone's trying to steal your phone, probably they don't have a lot of patience to wait that minute or 90 minute, 90 seconds or five minutes or whatever the case may be. So you have to wait X amount of time before you're able to engage in a response and contact reinforcement. Sure, you could press the phone, you could click the phone, you could break the phone. What you do during the minute doesn't matter. All that matters is reinforcement is not available until the minute elapses and then you put the correct passcode in and then you'll contact reinforcement. So that's an interval schedule. Then we're going to look at fixed and variable. This seems very basic, but I just want to go through it so everyone's on the same page. Fixed is set. So a set number of responses or the interval in an interval schedule is a set amount of time. 
So either a set number of responses for a fixed ratio or a set amount of time that needs to elapse in a fixed interval schedule. Then we have variable. Variables average, rough, about, those are all words that tell me it could be a variable schedule. This is after a average amount of responses. That would be a, you got it, variable ratio or a variable amount of time and then the response after that. And that would be a variable interval. So that's kind of the most basic form. We're gonna look at a few examples now. I want you to be thinking about what these examples are, so I'll read it. I'll give about a five second pause. If you need more than that, you can pause your screen. I typically click through about five channels before finding a game I want to watch. So that's gonna be a variable ratio. I click through five channels, the reinforcement, is finding the game, the behavior is clicking about five channels. So that about tells me it's variable, five channels tells me it's ratio, then you contact a reinforcement. Hunter must sit for one minute before he gets a skittle. All right, if you said interval, I want you to take a step back. Did we do anything after the one minute elapsed? No, it's technically not an interval schedule. This is where things get tricky not an interval schedule. I'm going to go to the Cooper book now and I'm going to read exactly what an interval schedule is. So bear with me. All right. So if you go to page 302 in the Cooper book, it says interval schedules require an elapse of time before a single response produces reinforcement. The total number of responses emitted on an interval is irrelevant to when and how often the reinforcer is delivered. Again, after the interval, the interval needs to elapse. So this is not an interval schedule. An interval schedule would say Hunter must do whatever. It should actually say one minute will pass. And then when Hunter sits, he's given a skittle. So he would need to sit after the minute. If he sits during the minute, great, fine and dandy. He's only getting the skittle after a minute. And then when he sits, it doesn't matter what he's doing during the minute. It's very important to remember that. Whenever I go to the gym, my trainer requires me to do nothing for three minutes and then I can hit the next lift. So that is more like an interval schedule, right? My rest period, I wait for three minutes and then I can go ahead and uh, contact reinforcement through hitting my lift. Hopefully I hit it and get the reinforcement, but you have to wait that three minutes and then reinforcement is available through hitting the lift. You cannot hit the lift before the three minutes. We want your strength to be at the top of its game. So think about that three minutes elapsing as a fixed interval three minute schedule. Lastly, your client engages in property destruction that is considered moderate in nature. When five minutes passes without property destruction, you provide praise. What is that? All right, so that one would be a really great example of a DRO. So that's not really a schedule of reinforcement. Uh, we're looking for the absence of behavior here. Schedule, actual schedules of reinforcement require a response in order to contact reinforcement. That's like a DRO schedule. So I just want to compare and contrast different concepts, allow you to discriminate them. And I hope we did that there. Now the next phase of our Wednesday calls, we move into a few scenario questions that are related to the topic now I will say, I don't always make all of the questions related to the topic because that's too easy, right? Every now and then I'll throw a, think of it as a maintenance question in. So that way you're thinking through different concepts. I don't want to prime you letting you know we're only going through intervals, though I think all of the questions today are about interval schedules or ratio schedules or schedules of reinforcement in general. So here it is. While working with a new client, you set their initial reinforcement system at an FI, three minute schedule of reinforcement for manding for the tablet. While observing a recent session, you notice that the behavior therapist sets a timer for three minutes. When the timer sounds, nothing happens. You then measure an additional four minutes passing before the learner requests to use the tablet. The behavior therapist provides the tablet to the client for five minutes. What schedule of reinforcement is described in the scenario? Is this a fixed interval seven minute schedule, fixed interval four minute, fixed interval five minute, or fixed interval three minute? 
Again, I'm only gonna wait about 10 seconds, so if you need to pause it, please do that. And then I'm gonna reveal the answer and talk through why it's not the rest. All right, the answer to this, and it's gonna be a little bit annoying because it says it in the scenario, but it's a fixed interval three minute schedule, fixed interval three minute. It says it right here, right? This tells us what schedule of reinforcement it's in. But if you're like, wait, Nico, wait, Kevin, wait, Amy, more time passed before the reinforcement was delivered. Doesn't that mean I need to add the times together? Do I need to add three and four to get seven? No, you actually don't. It's important to remember that in a fixed interval schedule, you have a designated interval. In this case, it's three minutes. Once the three minutes elapses, you do not provide reinforcement until the behavior happens. Another four minutes, another five minutes, another 20 minutes can occur before you deliver reinforcement. You don't restart the interval until you deliver the reinforcement. The whole reason we use interval schedules is to uh, provide more latency, or I should say inner response time, so my apologies, more inner response time between delivery of reinforcement. We wanna thin the reinforcement schedule by making you wait longer before reinforcement is available. However, it's still contingent upon you engaging in the appropriate behavior or whatever target behavior we're looking at. So in this case, all you had to wait was three minutes, but you didn't man for the tablet. The tablet's available after the three minutes. We only provide it when you manned, and then we restart our three minutes and it becomes available again. So that's a fixed interval three minute schedule. If you have questions about this, you can go ahead and leave them here on YouTube. You can also send us a, a message or uh, an email if you want a quicker response. A client that you currently work with engages in throwing behavior roughly every seven minutes. You have been tasked with reducing this behavior. You begin by reinforcing the client every five minutes. This proved to be successful. And you have requested all stakeholders implement this. What are they implementing? Is it a fixed interval schedule, a time-based schedule, a fixed ratio schedule, or is it a variable interval schedule? This is a time-based schedule of reinforcement. Now we did not talk about time-based schedules, but that's what this is. Time-based schedules of reinforcement are non-contingent reinforcement. We have fixed time and we have variable time. Time-based reinforcement schedules or non-contingent reinforcement schedules provide reinforcement non-contingently, meaning the behavior does not need to occur. You don't have to do anything. You just get reinforcement as time passes. So in this case, you have to answer the question being asked. The main sentence is here. You begin by reinforcing the client every five minutes. That means we're giving you something every five minutes. All that is, is non-contingent reinforcement. A fixed time, five minute schedule of reinforcement. It's not an interval because we would need the response after the five minutes, we don't see that. It's not a ratio because we would need something to happen five times, we don't see that. It's not variable because we would need about or on average. So there we are. While walking your dog, you stop at different spots in the neighborhood and request that he sit. Each time your dog sits down, you allow him to play for five minutes and then you walk a bit further before repeating this process. You are implementing a or an fixed interval schedule, fixed ratio schedule, variable interval schedule, or a fixed interval schedule. There you have it, it's a fixed ratio. And here again, the key part of the scenario, each time your dog sits, you allow him to play for five minutes. The playing for five minutes is just the duration of reinforcement. That's not uh, when you're delivering the reinforcement, instead it's how long they can contact reinforcement. You deliver reinforcement every time they sit. So this would be a fixed ratio. And realistically it's an FR1 or a continuous reinforcement schedule. Last question. Your workplace has implemented a reinforcement procedure that is as follows. When you complete five parts within a workday, you are paid $250.
This most closely resembles A or AN fixed ratio schedule, fixed interval schedule, variable ratio schedule, or variable interval schedule. And for bonus points, five parts within a day is a rate or a count.